Hello everyone, my name is Larseth, and welcome to a new series we're going to do, and that is in RimWorld. So, you, if you'd watched any of my Long Dark uh, videos, you'd probably know that I've been playing this a vast amount. And I had intended on continuing my Long Dark videos, and, well, I did try, but with the small issue that I played about an hour... Well, it was three episodes. I did three episodes. And then went to go and edit at them and realized that OBS had been recording a blank screen the entire time. Which was basically my fault, but still doesn't make it any, uh, any more uh, or any less annoying, I guess. So I thought, why not start a new game? So anyway, RimWorld, for those of you who don't know, is sort of a weird... Um, it's a weird mix between sort of like Prison Architect and maybe a bit of Factorio and a few other sort of survival games. Um, it certainly looks quite a lot like Prison Architect, um, but it is an incredibly fun game, so I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. So, in Rome World, we have, uh, you have basically colonies. So, the whole idea is that, you know, <sighs> there are various scenarios you can start off with, but you start off crashed on, or crash landed on a, uh, and, and, oh, I guess an alien planet, for lack of a better uh, description. Um, so we're just going to go with the uh, basic start, which was three survivors. It sort of starts you halfway down the tech tree. Um, or maybe not that far. No, it's probably about a, maybe 40% through the tech tree. Lost Tribe is right at the beginning. Um, but we're going to go just with the basic crash landed uh, one. So we'll go with that. Start off with all these and ship trunk chunks, steel and yada yada are gathered. So we'll go next. Um, AI storytellers. Um, basically, these are different sort of personalities of the AI. Um, Cassandra Classic is just sort of like the challenge continuously increases. Um, Chillax is basically time between disasters, like it says. And, but, you know, still difficult. They're difficult in their different ways. Randy Random is sort of, it could be hard right from the start. And then at the end, it could be really easy. It just varies quite massively. We're going to go with Cassandra Classic. And we'll go next. Right, so Random Seed. We're just going to go and stop there. Dancer, whatever that is. We're going to generate the globe 100%. It says it'll take a very long time to generate it, but on my computer, it normally only takes a few seconds. Well, I say a few seconds. probably takes about 10, 15 seconds, maybe. We'll leave the overall rainfall and temperature as it is, and we will generate and see what we get. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Otherwise, after me saying it, it'll only take 10 or 15 seconds, it'll be quite embarrassing. You could do it. There we go. Oh, no. I suppose, what's this? More like 15 seconds at this point. Maybe I should have done this beforehand. Who knows? I don't care. There we go. It appears to be done now. Or about to be done. Because it's stopped ticking along. There we go, finally. Right, select a landing site. So this is our planet that we have been uh, graced with. So first thing we're going to do is go into the advanced settings and change our individual map size to large. Um, just because the larger maps, I enjoy larger maps. The largest size, as you can see from this little tip here, is uh, not working as yet. Normally I would go select random site, but then you can get left in the tundra or places like that. And, uh, I mean, I'm an alright, I'm sort of, well, I guess I still could be um, probably class as a beginner, um, but I'm certainly am not brilliant at this game yet. So I think we're going to go in Temperate Forest, because that'll have a growing year-round growing period. And we want somewhere that's got granite. Uh, you can see the stone types are here. We want somewhere that's got granite, and that's mainly because granite is sort of the best material to use as um, building. So maybe this one would be good because it's got nearby settlements, so we'll get a lot of traders dropping in. And it also means that we can go and trade relatively easily. Um, Year-round growing, marble and granite, so we can use marble to decorate stuff. Uh, make, like, nice, beautiful-looking uh, sculptures and whatnot. Temperatures, I would like that to maybe be a little bit more difficult. Um, because the average temperature... I'll tell you what, maybe we'll go for somewhere a little colder. Because up here will be a little bit colder, won't it? We'll go maybe near these guys here, just so there is some challenge. 
could even go in the... Yeah, we'll go... Maybe with a 30-day growth cycle. Which is somewhere around here. Just gotta find somewhere with... Granite. There we go. Marble and granite. That should be fine. At least the winter temperature is a little bit colder. It's a little bit... It's a, it's a slight ch challenge. Um, all the advanced settings are okay. Next. Right, so now we got to check our characters. Choose our characters. So, generally speaking, the only ones I hate... I mean, you can randomize them. The only ones I hate starting with are the ones that have, like, major afflictions, like carcinoma or so cancer, or ones who have, like, missing limbs, or uh, the worst ones are people who have, like, addictions to stuff, because right at the start of the game, it's a real pain. So we're going to randomize just so we can get... We probably want somebody who's good at... Um, growing, construction, and medicine are the most important ones, I think, for the moment. And one who hasn't got too many uh, bad uh, sort of negatives. Too many negatives. This guy's not so bad. He's got psychic sensitivity, though, which isn't ideal. Um, what you don't want is somebody who's good at loads of things, because ideally you want to focus people so that they're only, you know, like, your responsibility is growing stuff, your responsibility is, you know, like, uh, constructing stuff, etc. Cooking's also a good one to have, because you can make good food right from the start. Right, so welcome back. Um, we, or I finally gone through all of these and decided which ones we're going to go for. We're going to go for Jesse, who is a gardener, has very good growing stats. Um, ben is going to be our builder, and Joop is going to be our herbalist. Wow, he's, he says herbalist, um, but he is also relatively good at medicine and a few other things. So he's going to be uh, good for growing as well. So, I mean, medicine, you obviously don't need to do all the time, because hopefully we'll be attacked all of the time. So, we're going to start with these guys. And typically, the map's going to take ages to generate once again. Right, three of you awake from your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens of ripping metal. You barely get to escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. Right. So, let's get them all landed first. Alright, so they've all landed. Um, one thing we're going to do first is unforbid all of these items so people can actually pick them up. And we need to zoom out because some items are spread quite far afield. There's also some wood dotted around here. Yep. Right, so I think that's everything. So, the first thing we need to do is find out who is good at, or who needs what weapons, basically. So, this guy, um, Jessie, or this girl, sorry, is very good at melee stuff. So, I'm going to have her equip the knife. Um, Benjamin is the best at shooting, even though he's not that great. And Joop is rubbish at shooting, and he's got, well, he's still rubbish at melee. But for the moment, we don't have anything else to give him, so that's fine. So, we spawned in quite a good area because there's uh, some fertile land right here. Um, so, the first thing I think I'm going to do is claim this little building here. Because we'll use this to build um, a little room where we could put some beds down. It just saves us having to build a st another structure um, elsewhere. And then what also we'll do is chop down some wood that's across this growing area, because we'll need to need this growing area. We'll need to get growing pretty soon. What else do we want to do? We'll set up the work tab. Uh, we want to use manual priorities um, so that we can tell them what we want them to do. We'll set all the most important ones to one. We want our doctor's bed rest. And then flick... That's fine. I'll give you a one in wardening, you a one in handling, you a one in cooking, um, and then construction. Uh, Jessie was the one who had the gun, wasn't she? Oh, uh, no. No, it was Ben. Sorry. 
So, hunting, I'll give you a two for that. Mining, two. Plant cut, two. A lot of these will change as we go along. It's just that, essentially, for the moment, we'll be wanting to do a lot of plant cutting. So, I'll just keep that at quite high priority. I'm going to remove smith, tailor, art, and craft, because for the moment, we don't really need any of that. We we'll want them all to haul and research as and when. Um, so we'll just do that for the moment. So they'll all go about their business cutting down stuff. There we go. And they've already built their little hovel. I'm just going to turn the volume down. I should have checked this out beforehand. It's uh, deafening me. There we go. Fabulous. Right, that's all constructed, so let us build some beds. So for the moment, we're not going to do anything too fancy. This is just a little home for our colonists to be in whilst we're... Uh, we'll build another one there, just in case we get a wanderer. We're just going to build these just so our colonists have somewhere to be in the interim, or sleep tonight, that is. And I also want to deconstruct that limestone wall. And after we've cleared this area, now that they've got somewhere to sleep, we will be able to stop planning out our base, which would be really good. Come on, you're almost done. Lovely. Right, so we'll get them to clear up tiles, and then we'll be able to start planning out our base properly. And then, by that point, we'll have a load of wood with which to actually plan out our base, because our um, colonists would have been cutting some. There is a ship part there. There's actually two. Where's the other one? There's one there. There's another one on my map somewhere that I can sit. Because I double-clicked on it. Ah, there we go. There's another one. Lovely. Right, that's fine. Um, so what do we need to do now? They've done all of that, so we need to start making plans. So I think what I want to do... Well, as you know. Sorry, first thing we'll do now is mark down a growing area. So I think I'm going to do that. And fill this with rice. Ooh, wrong one. Rice. There we go. Because we're in sort of a burial area, I believe, um, we... God, I always hate... I can't see the outlines very well. Is there a button on here to see the outlines? Toggle visibility of roofs. Toggle environmental display. No. Um, no, no, no. Oh, there we go. Apparently, I'm supposed to be able to see that. Which I cannot. There we go. Um, let's build another one going across there. And then that one can be... Ooh, what do we want there? Um, choices, choices, choices. Let's put corn there, I think. And that's probably okay for the moment. Because I think if we have our... I mean, it makes sense. Obviously, we'll have our growing area there. So while they're doing that, we'll start building our, making our plans. So where does this end? It ends, see, I can't see that, the outline of that for anything. So we'll leave, leave that selected. So we'll leave one, a space of two. Um, so what I want to do here is make my freezer, probably right here. So I'm going to do, how deep do I want my freezer to be? And the thing is, we'll do double walls. So I'm for the moment, I'm just going to go for a 15. Do that. Um, right, so how long is this currently? 14, 15. Do that. Let's just do that for the moment. Because how long is this? This should be... That should be 10. So it needs to be two more on the end of there. That should be 10 now. Lovely. Right, so now that is 
a nice freezer, and the reason I'm doing double walls is because that actually insulates it slightly and lessens the amount of energy essentially needed to turn it into a freezer. So now that we've got our actual freezer, um, what I want to do is add a cooker on, well, not a cooker, sorry, a kitchen onto it. So I'm going to make a, another small freezer, which juts off of here, um, which I'm going to use for my meals. So that is now six long. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Lovely. That's fine. So I'll put all of my meal. Actually, we'll add another one on there. And remove this. We'll add, we'll put our meals in here. And then this is going to be our kitchen. And then we'll add... Annoyingly, there's another little growing area here, which is a bit of a in sort of a bit of an awkward space, if I'm honest. Um, onto here, what we're going to add is, which doesn't need to be double walled now, um, is our dining room. So we'll add our dining room on there. So the, the hope is, is that people bring the food straight into the freezer, dump it down. The chefs here come and make the food, pop it into there. And then when somebody needs something to eat, they come in here and eat it. Because what you don't want is people running all the way through there, which... The more it happens, the more heat it let, or the more cold heat it lets in, rather. Um, which is a little bit of a pain. And then we'll build our uh, lodgings further along here. Um, what I think I want for the moment, just to tide us over, is I think we're going to... I'm going to make a small... I'm going to make a small, um, who's our construct? There we go. I want to build a little stockpile here first, basically, so that I can get all of my stuff under cover, which will stop it from deteriorating. That's fine. Lovely. So they're beavering away, planting all this stuff up, which is very good. Because the sooner we can get food, the better. Because we, our growing season's what, was it 30 days long? It's obviously not a huge amount of time. So we need to get food, at least for this first season, pretty fast. So that structure is all done. Um, and we will start working on... our freezer. So I think I want the door to the freezer to be maybe like here, so that's like midway down the freezer-ish. Do that. Lovely. So that, that'll take them a little, little while to complete, but luckily there's quite a lot of wood kicking around here for them to do it with. Let's make sure they chop all the f wood over this area, actually. What is that horrible noise? Did that wild boar just kill something? Oh no, it's one of mine. Okay, interesting. So we need to train that one to haul, so we'll get get that going. Lovely, going well. We'll need to set up a dumping pile to the side to get all these rocks out of the way as well. So I think dumping stockpile area, maybe if we leave... Maybe if we, for the moment, we just move... Um, all of the chunks that are in the way over there. Because then we can get all of these out of the way. Which would be nice. Be just what we want. Because if we're going to need to be building, we will need a clear space with which to do so. Or in which to do so, sorry. There we go. Set them all to haul all of that stuff. So obviously we've got quite a lot of orders here, which have all been piled up. I did set this correctly, didn't I, to have chunks? I did. Um, we also want to remove all of the 
trees from this dumping area. Otherwise, that'll take up some space. I probably need to make it a little bit larger, actually. Ben and Jesse have come together and are now lovers. See, the good thing about that is that they now... I can give them a double bed, and that's one less bedroom I have to make, sort of, in the... immediately. One thing I did forget to do, uh, where is it, is put a wall... Um, a doorway there, and we'll figure out a doorway here once we've got everything laid out in the room. So how, how much actually is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there is a halfway point. One, two, three, four, five. So it's there. That's fine. I can deal with that. Of course I can't. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Of course, I can't build across there just yet because it will cut everyone off. I think for the moment, what I'm going to do, actually, is set construction to two and grow to two and set hall to one just so for the moment they move a load of this stuff out of the way. I'm going to tell them I don't want them to drop wood in, oops, I'm in the wrong one. I don't want them to drop wood in that stockpile because the wood at the moment is actually closer to where I need it than the stockpile is, so that's fine. But we'll get them to do a bit of hauling and clear up the place a little bit, especially in this area, otherwise it's gonna delay the construction quite a bit if everyone's spending all their time hauling. Lovely. Do I need to make this any bigger? No, I think it should be okay, actually. Probably need to chop up some of these smaller trees. Again, they take up a bit of room. It's all coming together nicely. Hopefully we get a um, Wanderer soon, because none of our Conlists are particularly good at fighting. Well, one of them's good with, a, with melee weapons, but... That's nothing really to write home about at the moment. Need to get rid of these trees in here because we're going to be laying floors, so you might as well get rid of them. I think this is actually getting quite quite full. Uh, stockpile zone. Dumping stockpile zone. There we go. We'll... Ooh, we've got a visitor. Unfortunately, we've got no items to trade. Where are they? There they are. Trobo and Risling. Right. I said that's going very well. So I think it's just these last stones down here that they need to move. Other than that, we're going going very nicely. I'm not even sure if I do I need these moving? For the moment, probably not. So actually, I'm going to cancel those. I want them to go and move um, the medicine and probably the steel slag chunks as well. Right, I have no idea how long this episode's gone on for. Because um, I started the timer ages ago. So what I will do is end it here. Um, thank you very much for watching. And I will speak to you next time. Take care.